God, how we serve you. Bless your name and we praise you. That again, you've blessed us. That you're about to favor us with the delicious meal of your word. Your word is mm, good. That's what your word is. It's mm, good. So we pray now that we will dine sufficiently. That you would anoint our ears afresh to hear. Cleanse our hearts of anything that would distract, hinder us from receiving your word. We thank you that your word has been tailor made for us. Now help us to receive it. Speak, Lord, for your people are listening. And let us hear what you, the Spirit, has to say to us, the church. Anoint me afresh. Give me clarity of speech. Give me a mind to stay right where you're taking us. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. If you know he's our Lord, there's no doubt about it. You don't have any doubts in your mind this morning that he is Lord. You've already heard in your reading, in your hearing, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 and 9. We are troubled yeah. on every side, yet not distressed. We're perplexed. But we're not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. We cast down, but we're not destroyed. So for a few moments, I'd like to talk about being struck down, yeah, yeah. but not beyond repair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Struck down, but not beyond repair. How many of you saw the movie Creed? Creed came out of several years ago. It was about a boxer, Adonis Creed. And Adonis Creed received a brutal punch in the fight of his life. And this brutal punch gave him a severe knockdown. He hits the floor hard. People in the corner, in his corner, are shouting, get up, get up. But his opponents on the other side of the ropes are celebrating, thinking that this match, this bout, come on, uh -huh. this fight is over. While Creed was knocked out, his mind scrolled to all that he had been through mm -hmm. up to that point of his life. All of the people that loved him and motivated him through the years and because of his allowing his mind to scroll of everything that he had been through and all of the people that loved him and motivated him, he got a joke. Mm -hmm. And he jumped up before the count of ten. All right. Creed, Adonis Creed, was back in the fight. Just like us, we encounter battles, and we don't train intensively for them. We don't have any professional helpers in these battles. Mm -hmm. Because the truth be told, we don't know the time, the date, the place, the location that the next bout is going to show up. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, we don't prepare. Listen, New Day, we don't have a clue of what's going to take place this afternoon. Well, well. We know that he allowed us to awaken this morning, that he allowed us yes. to dress ourselves and feed ourselves and 
and come to this place of worship. Uh -huh. But these bouts show up unexpectedly. Yes. The former pastor used to say, what's sweet in the morning yeah, yeah, can right. be sour. Yes. <laughs> and they came to life My Lord. in the evening. People that we think, Brother Ronnie, are wonderful. That, that, that we think that they will help us out in a bout. But listen, we don't even know where the next bout lies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know the time or the place. That's it. Our battles, unlike Adonis Creed, is spiritual. The Apostle Paul showed that boxing is like running. It's a vivid metaphor for the Christian life. Remember over in 1 Corinthians 9, he talks about that this, this uh, journey is running. Yeah. And here we're learning today in the Creed movie, it was about boxing. But somebody say still the same. Still the same. Paris said same, same, same crowd. It's still a battling battle for our lives. We wonder sometimes what in the world is going on? How did this come to pass? How did this happen? A whirlwind hits. Yeah, yeah. Like the tornado in the Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. causing our houses to become unstable, causing our, our, our lives to be in turmoil, topsy turvy. But I came to just tell us this morning, struck down but not beyond repair. Right. But there's three points we need to know, and it's found in these scriptures that we will get hit. All right, tell the truth. We're going to get hit. Mm -hmm. Now, don't think because you are a Christian, you've been one for 20 years, celebrating silver anniversary of 25, celebrating uh, 50 years, Jubilee. Listen. Don't tell nobody I told you. All right. But we will get hit. That's it. And we will get hit because often we don't see it coming. Yes. A hit can be a health crisis. Yes. You go to the doctors and it's the regular routine time. You're, you're feeling okay, but then a health crisis hits. Or loss of a loved one that you didn't expect to, to die. Mm-hmm. To pass away. Or even if you expected it because of what medical professional, medical professional said, you still were not prepared for it. We will get it. That's it. Employment shake up. You're on level such and such. One day in the next month. They want to tell you that they have to downsize. They have to reorganize. Come on. That's right. And so an employment shakeup. A betrayal. Somebody tell you, I got you. I'm in your corner. I'm going to be right there for you. And yet, you are betrayed. Mm -hmm. I shared with someone last week. Listen, I told them, listen, you asked me. I'm just telling you, been there, done there. That all the time the betrayal is not just from the, the party or the situation, but sometimes betrayal is around the folks around you. That's right. They are all in the business and they should be minding their own. Mm -hmm. They taking news back. And, and I said, sometimes it's, it's going to spin your head and pop your eyes wide open because you'll say, I don't believe that this person did this. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that behaving like this That's right. betrayal. Yes. Come at you. Mm. Mm -mm. We'll get hit because sometimes we'll experience just downright persecution. Something we're aware of can be mild or temporary, but it hits. It goes from a little molehill mm -hmm. to a mountain. It's not rather about that, but it's where we find ourselves. Come here, James. James tells us in chapter 1, verse 2. Are you with me? Uh -huh. Count it 
found joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, we will get it. Mm -hmm. We'll be struck down, but not beyond repair. Right. Paul says it's a part of our privilege as believers. Because we are believers, since the palm people are going to come at us. When they know that we are in Christ, the enemy will launch an attack and you're not bothering nobody. That's right. He'll line up his entourage to get you when you are minding your own business. You just finished getting off of your knees to pray. Come on. You, you're praising him. You're singing. This is my story. This is my song. I'm praising my Savior all the day long. And the next thing you know, hell has hit. Like bombs bursting in air. We will get hit. But Paul says it's a part of the privilege as Believers, the enemy, and we have them, will sucker punch us. But we must rise. We must rise mm -hmm. as a man or woman of God and know that we will get hit. Yes. I'm struck down, but not beyond repair. The enemy might be trying something. We got to know. We're going to get hit. But like a dollar's creed, we're not out All right. for the count. It's not over All right. until God says that it's over. All right. Isaiah says it this way, no weapon, no weapon. formed against me shall prosper. Yeah. Every lying tongue, it shall, it shall be condemned. We will get hit. But we'll get up yes. before the count of ten. Yes. The bout is not over. No. In fact, the Bible says the battle uh, come on. Uh, is not mine. It's the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Uh. And so when they come up against me, come on. He said the Spirit of the Lord yes, it will. will raise up a yes, standard will. against them. Yes, he will. And I believe what God's word says. I may be struck down, Brother Paul reminds me, uh -huh. but I'm not beyond repair. Well, I may get down, but I'll get back up. Come on. And so, Paul says, but we, we are troubled on every side, not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Just know you will go down. Uh -huh. See, we'll get hit. But we'll bounce back up. We'll, we'll, we'll go down. Yeah. Such force sometimes comes that knocks us down. It takes the very breath from us at times. Life takes a hard tilt. And it has its effects. It'll throw us face down to the ground. Do you believe that? Yes. Devastating. Pain excruciating. We try as much as we can with our might to grab and to hold on to any semblance of joy or hope. But I got good news for you. We are troubled on every side. Well, well. Yet not distressed. Yeah. We are perplexed, but not in despair. We're persecuted, but not forsaken. We, we're cast down, but not destroyed. You got to tell yourself, I may have got hit. I may have gone down, but Paul, my brother, the apostle, reminds me that it is not over. Yes, Lord. This is not beyond repair. It's true, for the sake of Christ, we find ourselves afflicted in every way, perplexed, per persecuted, and struck down. You know, people just bother us just because we say we are Christian. Uh -huh. They'll start up with, why you, why, why are you a Christian? Why you serve that white Jesus? My Lord. Have you been met with that? Yeah. What, what has he done 
for you. He ain't did nothing for me. And so because of Christ, we are sometimes attacked. We sometimes will get hit and sometimes we'll go down. But Peter tunes in in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 12. And Brother Peter, another apostle, says, Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you mm -hmm. as though something strange were happening yeah. to you. Maybe I better say it again. I don't yeah. think we got yeah, that. Yeah. Beloved, talking to us, the believer, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. The ordeal is fiery. It does come upon you. It packs a knockout punch. But we need to know that the enemy's goal is to devour us. But the Lord's goal is to grow us in faith and trust and endurance. Thank you, Lord. We got to wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Yes, Lord. And he told us he that he would strengthen our hearts. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord, I say, and yes. be of good courage. Yes, God. And he will strengthen our hearts. Yes, Sometimes yes, our yes. skies are cloudy and dreary. Yeah, yeah, Sometimes yeah. our hearts are burdened with care. Preacher, but we may know well, we may whatever know. befall us. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Somebody call his name Jesus. Jesus, Jesus is always there. Mm -mm. We'll get hit. That's, that's a shorty. We, we, we'll go down. But here, Paul is letting us know that we can get up. We're hit hard. We're knocked to the ground. We feel like our strength is gone. The bruises of hurt and heartache are present. You can see them, and the pain keeps us pinned to the mat. Uh -huh. But like Creed, yeah. in the movie Creed, mm -hmm. the enemy celebrated and thought it was over for Adonis Creed. Somehow, someday, the enemy has made us believe that it's all over. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus he went to Calvary uh -huh. so that we can know that we can get up. He hung up yeah. so that we can get up. He stayed there on the cross so that we would know that we can get up. We're not going to always be down. It's not going to always be like this. But we must remember that the enemy, the Roman soldiers, Pilate and Herod, and all the Sanhedrins, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, yeah. they thought they had Jesus. They thought that they had finally counted him out. Come on, but before the count of ten, yeah, yeah, yeah. before count of 10, yeah, before the count of 4, yeah. because they tell me on the third day morning, yeah. Jesus, 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 well, Jesus, he got up with all power Hallelujah. in heaven and in earth, yeah, and the same power the same that he was resurrected uh -huh. with is now living in us. Yeah. In fact, the Bible tells us greater, greater, greater yeah. is he that is in us uh -huh. than he that is in the world. Yeah. I choose today uh -huh. to be knocked down sometimes well, because it shows my father's strength. Yes. Because I'm daddy's little girl, well, he lets me know that he lives. He lives in me. Uh -huh. And he lives great in me. Hallelujah. So we may be hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we will get hit. My Not mom. maybe. We will get hit. Yeah. And then there are times yes. that we'll go down. Yes. But because Jesus went down, well, he went down to the grave. Yes, he went down to the pits of hell. Uh -huh. And he got the keys. He got the keys. He snatched the keys back. Well, and now he's victorious over life, death, and hell. Yes. And so we have the same authority yes. living in us. Hallelujah. And we can get up. Can get I'm going to stand so, not in the power of my own might, well, but I'm going to stand in the power of his might. Yeah. I'm going to put on the whole arm of Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to put on the whole arm of Jesus because I know, I know, I know. I know that he got me. He got my back. Yeah. I know, I know, I know I might be struck down, but I'm not beyond repair because he looks, 
He looks beyond my faults yeah. and he sees my needs and he tells me every day that yes, I love you. Yes. And I love you unconditionally. I love you endlessly. I love you with a steadfast love. So, 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 so we are sometimes pressed on every side. But we need to know that when we get hit, when we get knocked down, but the get up is coming. The get up is coming. And one day the great getting up is coming. Yes. We're going to get up and we're going to meet Jesus in here. In that great getting up morning, we'll see Jesus as he is. We'll see him. The dead in Christ arise first, but those that still remain will be caught up in the air to see Jesus and spend the ceaseless ages of eternity with him. And so I, I, I just believe that I'm going to keep standing. Yeah. Having done all, I'm just going to keep standing. Yeah. I may get hit on the right yeah. and I'll turn to the left. I may get hit on the left and I'll turn to the right. I may get sucker punched in the front, but I'll just keep on standing because I know that I'm not standing alone. Yeah. That mercy and grace frights me. And surely his goodness and mercy shall be with me all the days of my life. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for giving strength, oh God, yes, God, for your word to go forth. We praise you and we honor you. Lord, help us to remember to not give up, but to know that we may be struck down, but we're not beyond repair. And we'll get hit sometimes. We'll go down sometimes, but when we think of the goodness of you, Jesus, like Adonis Creed, we can stroll through our mind all of the love and motivation of people that you've placed in our lives and we can get up and we're not out and it's not over until you say that it's over in the precious name of Jesus we pray amen